Hey everyone, today I'm here to do a mini car tour or truck tour. I've done a little bit of upgrading. I want to say like some feminine touches to my big truck and I just wanted to add a few touches because most of you probably know I'm not like super super feminine but I'm also not super masculine either. I feel like I'm kind of like somewhere right in the middle where I like to get dressed up, I like to do my nails, I like to do my hair and makeup. Then again I can get down and dirty and you know do renovations and help fix vehicles and stuff like that. So I wanted to do a few touches and I got a th few things that I will show you and I'll kind of walk you through what I have done and what I keep in my truck and yeah so Anyways, the first thing that I got was a steering wheel cover and I honestly actually had a hard time finding a steering wheel cover. Originally I wanted to go with like a purple and black, but they were really hard to find for like at a reasonable price. So I was actually in Walmart and I saw this one for 17 bucks and it was just really, really simplistic. It's got like some jewels on it and it's black. And the reason why I wanted to get a steering wheel cover was because the top of the steering wheel was actually wearing before I got the truck. So to prevent any more wear on the actual steering wheel, I wanted to protect it. So that was the first thing that I got. And yeah, again, I got it from Walmart. I'll try and link it below or any of this stuff below if I can find it. And then the second thing I got is actually on the outside of the truck. You will have to excuse her. She's a little bit dirty because of the snow. But my next item were these license plate covers. I also got from Walmart the same day that I got the steering wheel cover and they happened to be on clearance for $9 and they were like regular 20 and they're actually real metal. So I just thought it was a cute touch to put on a big truck, basically stating that like, yeah, a girl drives this truck. I'm no princess, but I thought it was cute. So I do have those both on the front and back. The third item I did mention in my video for my merch, and it is our sticker, Living a Positive Outlook on Life. It's just simplistic and a little bit girly. I want to get a sticker that either states Tiffy Tay or Instagram handle at Tiffy Tay 92 or something like that. But anyways, I just thought that was really cute. So speaking of sticker, I wanted to do the announcement for who won the sticker. I was hoping to have it out by Christmas, but because of everything that's been going on, I kind of forgot about doing the draw. The person that won the sticker from my merch video was this person right here. So thank you to everyone that has bought merch over the past however many years that I've been doing it. Thank you for commenting and liking the video and we will hopefully be able to do more giveaways in the future, but for right now, this is just a little thank you. So thank you again to everyone that participated in that giveaway. All right, so the next thing that I got was, of course, I needed a phone cord. We always have phone cords in our vehicles so that we can charge them, especially when we go camping or whatever. If we don't have full hookups, you can charge your phone in your vehicle. Also, I've already had this, but this is like a inverter block that can also do a regular 120 volt plug. So I use that for my laptop and stuff as well. The next thing you might be able to actually see behind me, and it is this piece of purple trim here. So, if you see... I actually got these from Shein and it was only $4 for five meters. So I did it on all four doors. I don't know if you can see it, but anyways, I did it on all four doors and then I did one just around the keyhole. It sucks because you can see the join there, but I kind of angled it towards me so that if the key is in and on, you can't see it. So anyways, it was just a cute little detail and then also around the stereo and I had a little extra piece left over so I just did it up here by the ram sign. Now I wanted to do all in here and I was gonna order more to do more but I couldn't get it in there. I guess these are too tight of joints to push in the little strip so I'm gonna pass on that. It's just a cute little touch on the doors and it's really sleek. I think it 
matches super well with the doors. It's just really clean looking. So the next thing is this little jeweled clip to hang masks on for now because I normally set them on the dash and they continue to fall down onto the ground and I'm forever picking them up. So this is a perfect way to keep them in place and out of my way. So along with the phone cord, I do have this magnetic clip for my phone to go on so I can have it there as my GPS or if I'm talking to somebody or whatever, I have it right there. And then this phone cord actually goes right into it. And I also bought these little wire clips. I think I got eight in a pack for really, really cheap on Shein. I'll link those below too if I can find them. Moving along, you can see that I have our Tinkerbell mats. These I actually bought with my first vehicle ever, my Ford Escape and I've had them ever since and it's just like a little touch of baby girls still with the Tinkerbell. I did have a steering wheel cover. I decided not to put it on because it was really beaten up and I just wanted to kind of like do a little bit of growing up and um, not everything has to be Tinkerbell. So that's why I actually got the license plate covers as well because I did have a Tink Tinkerbell license plate cover and it just it didn't suit the vibe of like the outside of the truck So I passed on that as well. I actually do have it in my truck in my emergency bag back there but yeah, so I I passed on that and I think I'm liking What I'm doing with this just simplistic little bit of feminine details the next thing were these cup holder mats and I'm gonna be honest, I thought they were gonna be a lot bigger. These are quite small, but they were just like, again, a little touch of feminine. And you can't really tell when you just like look quickly, but. The next thing is a mirror. I was gonna buy one off of Shein, but I actually found this one at Walmart. It was under 10 bucks, and I find it so frustrating that they don't put mirrors on the driver's side anymore, because even if you're parked, you should be able to look into a mirror. I understand why they do it, but anyways, so there's a mirror. Down here, I just keep some sanitizer, and then this is actually Rain-X windshield wiper fluid because my mirror on this side gets so dirty from the tires being extra wide that sometimes I can't see out of my mirror. So I keep that there, and I can just spray my mirror, put my window down, and spray it to clean it off quickly and I'm hoping that's going to be fixed a little bit. I need an alignment done on this truck really really bad. The tires really really pull to the right and I don't know if the guy just never did an alignment on it or what but I think because it's so bouncy and it like if you hit a pothole it can adjust your alignment and stuff but yeah so I have to get an alignment done which I actually have set for next Thursday and then also to put my snow tires on. So I'm hoping that will actually help with the mirror that it won't get so dirty because it's funny only this side Gets dirty. I mean this side gets dirty too, but you can see the difference like how this window Versus this window is much dirtier. So hoping that will be fixed as of Thursday in here I just have a little folder to hold receipts because we were really bad in Kyle's truck for just throwing all of our receipts into our console and I wanted a spot where I could put all of my receipts and have them there organized well semi organized not all over the truck and then down here I just keep a clip and some lip balm, and then because I'm sick, I have some hauls. So in my console, I keep my lottery ticket thing. I buy lottery tickets and actually leave them in my vehicle. I don't even look at them until I take them back to the store, because I'm hoping for some reason that'll be good luck. I have a bag of change, not sure why. I think this was Damien's money and then we were supposed to put it in the bank and I never did. I keep a thing of baby wipes in here, which can be really, really handy. I have masks for the kids. I have my little pouch here and in here I think I have extra gum and a remote, which I'll get to in a second. 
I have some hand cream, which will probably freeze in the winter. And then in here, I think I keep some extra tampons and some other stuff, a pen and stuff. And then I have a magic eraser for when I feel like cleaning. But then you can see I have some wires hooked up through my console. And those are for... I'll turn on my truck and show you. So you can see lights came on underneath and I have LEDs underneath my seats and they shine purple but the remote will actually change it to whatever color I want. I actually found them at the dollar store uh, for $4 a piece so I think I spent 16 bucks and then these I actually found at the dollar store as well. Two of these for $1.25 each. So they come on with the car, they turn off with the car, they stay the color that you want them to and you can switch them if you really wanted to. But yeah, so I just, uh, I did those. So at nighttime, I'll hopefully get some footage of that for you to show you what it looks like. So here are the lights now that it is dark. You can see them. And, oh, well, because I have the door open. But you can see the lights. This, these, because of where I have them plugged in, I had no choice but to come down the sides. I rather have not but that's just how long the cord was. So it's kind of um, in the back seat, so I don't really care, but yeah, it just kind of gives a little bit of more light. So there you go. You can see without the light on. So then I have a garbage can here because I hate garbage all over my vehicle. So I just got that off of Shein for pretty cheap. And then I have Diesel's seatbelt leash and a regular leash there. And I'm hoping to get a seat cover for there for him as well. And I forgot to mention, Damien has a DVD player, so I keep that in there now. And I have my straps back there and then also a snow brush. So that's kind of like an updated mini car tour, uh, what I keep in my car and... I still want to do some things on the outside, but because it is winter, I kind of want to stay from the outside stuff right now. Like there's a sticker on the front of the hood and it's got like some wear and tear in it. So I kind of want to just take it off completely and either replace it or just leave it off depending on if it's good condition underneath it. So yeah, I just have to switch over to my winter tires. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, make sure you go check out our Vlogmas playlist and we will see you next time. Bye.